The challenging part as an instructor is coming up with a really good set of questions or a good question that will challenge the students and that will provide you as an instructor with the appropriate information you're looking for in order to take full advantage. There's lots of ways to use an audience response system. You could put a whole bunch of questions at the beginning and then a whole bunch of questions at the end, kind of as a pre-test, post-test. I would rather do stuff periodically, um, you know, once or twice in the session. I think for me the key is going to be trying to restrain my impulse to use as much as I can, as many times as I can. I, I suspect that it'll work better to use two or three questions during a one hour lecture as opposed to having 20 or 30 questions. So you have to be flexible when you're using these. If you aren't and you end up getting a response from the class that is different than what you anticipated, you can't ignore it. You have to go with it, so you have to be ready to roll in a different direction. My main reason going into it, using the uh, the response system was definitely to increase engagement um, and it, it, it certainly did that. Just the, the, the energy in the room was very different. Um, the students had an opportunity to talk with each other and then to raise their questions with me. There were far more questions, there were far more comments from a lot of different people. Um, not just sort of the standard characters that have the have the nerve to ask questions typically, <laughs> but many more people were asking questions and making comments. I was surprised at how how enthusiastic they were about using it. I initially thought some of them would find it a little bit hokey. It's a funny word to use, but um, but instead they were very interested in seeing. Uh, how they responded relative to their peers in the class because you can provide the students with that kind of feedback and, and it's one thing for me to be able to say to them if you don't understand this it's okay there are others that might not understand it let's go through it again but it's another thing for them to see it on the big screen and see that you know 40 percent of the class didn't get it right which is a great opportunity for me to start trying to explain things in a different way. Thinking about what it is that you're trying to accomplish with that how you're trying to help the learners learn and really focus on, on that strategic part, really focus on engineering the opportunity for the students to learn and take the best advantage of those technologies.